Alright. Now I'm going to put some rouge on. And I have different kind of rouge. I got a lighter rouge here. I'm going to move this one back here so I don't get it. Put some here and I'll put a little rouge in, in one of these. Always shake it up real good. And again, I'll put some on there and I'll brush a lot of it off. And I'll put some on the cheek, on the cheek, right here, get a little bit. You don't want it to look like a clown effect. I like a little bit up in the temple area. Some up on the ear right here. A little bit on the earlobe. I like some on the side of the nose, on the back of the wing right here. Maybe a little bit up right on the nose right here. Again, I'm, uh, a lot of people uh, uh, don't like it because I don't put it on that thick, but I'm only hinting it. And that's just me. If you like to put it on thicker, that's okay, but I think then you get into looking like a clown. Put a little bit on the bottom of the, of the bag, a little bit maybe up just up a, inside of the eye, top eyelid. A little bit on this temple over here. On the earlobe. A little bit on the ear, maybe a little bit on the inside of the ear there too. I'm going to put a little bit on the chin too, right here. Maybe a little bit, a little color on that upper lip right up in there. If you want it a little bit more, a little darker, a little bit more, you can get, I got a little darker one you can put on there. But you really have to put it on, almost dry brush it. Just dry brush it. Put a little bit on there, wipe most of it off, and just dry brush it here and there. I'll put a little bit up in the forehead right here. There you go. Alright, now I'm going to do the hair. I just took a, a, it's a dark brown. I'm going to just do it with a dark brown, but you can do it black. You can do it with um, um, uh, a different, different color, brown, dark brown, light browns. And you can also leave it the base coat. If I have a dark hat, a lot of times, because of the hair, I'll leave it the base coat like it's blonde. And I can just dry, um, dry brush it with a little white if I want. Now the hair is, you're going to always hold your carving this way, this way right here, and you always paint down this way. Make sure it runs away from the face, like that. See, you, you start here, and you'll go down this way, you hold it this way, so gravity will take it away from the face instead of it uh, being a big glob. Again, I try to dry brush it if I can almost, just so it doesn't run. As you get back here, you can go a little heavier. But when you get around the flesh and everything, like the ears now, I'm going to come down this way on it. I go away from the flesh. Same thing with the front right here. I try to hold it where you, you can get a better view at it, I guess. Right here. It's hard for me to paint this way, but you, you can see it better.
in the color. See, I, it's just a wash. See, now up here I can get, you know, I, there's nothing I'm worried about. I could go a little heavier up here. It's not going to make it any darker up here. It just spreads it around more, that's all. Like that. So now I'm going to finish, finish that all up, the hair up. Now what I'll do, I'll wait about three days for the minwax to really dry, dry and it seals itself. And then what I'll do is, anywhere where I want some depth, I'll take a, a burnt umber wash, like in, in, in a crease exaggeration line right here, in the little crow's feet, or re, any wrinkles, anywhere in the ear here, anywhere where I want to bring out a little bit more darkness, I'll put a, a acrylic wash, and it's a very thin wash. It's even thinner than I did it for the hair, you know. And I do it in the nostrils. I'll do it in between the teeth because I want the teeth to come out. And underneath the teeth inside to put a darker area between the lower lip and the, and the bottom of the top teeth. So I'll, I'll do that. And then I'll wait three to four days, uh, and, I'll, and I'll give it two coats of wax. I use Howard's. Feed and wax. It's a it's a beeswax. You can buy at any hardware store, or antique shop. So that that's basically what I do. One thing I want to say. Now you got any oily rags or anything that we got the base coat on the min wax. You have to get rid of these. Don't store them in your house. You don't 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 put them anywhere in your house. Get them out of your house. And they say don't fold and crush them up. Don't crush them up. Leave them flat like that. Leave them flat. So, well, that that's it. It's not really hard, but I like to I like to hint the colors so I can still see the wood through it. All right. And thank you.